Hello, my name is Katherine Sargent, and today I present to you my technique for applying a single leg spica cast for treatment of a pediatric femur fracture. This presentation is based on the findings of our prospective randomized trial of single versus double leg spica casts for treatment of pediatric femur fractures, which was published in 2012 in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery. Studies have shown that single leg spica casting for pediatric femoral fractures in children aged one to five years can facilitate care and mobilization of the patient, and may allow for shorter duration of casting than traditional one and a half leg spica casts. Femur fractures account for one to two percent of pediatric fractures. Treatment methods vary depending on the age of patient and the fracture type. Preschool children up to five years of age are frequently candidates for spica cast treatment. The benefits of spica casting include avoiding the potential complications of open surgery, a surgical scar, and a second procedure to remove hardware. There are some disadvantages, for example, challenging hygiene issues, the risks of skin problems and compartment syndrome, and hardships for the child, the family, and the community. Making the treatment easier to manage can reduce such burdens. Single leg spica casts, in comparison to the traditional one and a half leg spica casts, have been shown to be comparably effective, facilitate care of the patient, and may potentially reduce the duration of treatment. Single leg spica cast application is a relatively simple procedure requiring sedation of the patient, fracture reduction, and cast application and trimming. An assistant to hold the legs during casting and a practitioner to provide and monitor sedation or anesthesia are needed to safely perform the procedure. A spica table, which provides support under the thorax and head with a strut that supports the spine and sacrum, is used to allow casting of the pelvic area and the involved extremity. Alternatively, a padded box with a longitudinal strut supporting the spine and buttocks could be utilized where a formal spica table is not available. The steps of the procedure include preoperative planning, obtaining adequate sedation, assessing fracture stability in the position of optimal alignment, applying a cast liner, positioning the patient on the spica table, applying cast padding, applying and molding the cast, trimming and finishing the cast, and removing the patient from the spica table. 